Good evening. May God's blessings be upon you as we celebrate the Eucharist today. In the beginning, God created the, heaven and the heavens and the earth. And there was a big cosmic explosion. And everything started from that. 13.78 billion years ago, the universe came into being. Because of the Big Bang, helium and hydrogen and other elements gathered together, became stars, huge stars, gathered into galaxies, and this supernova, big stars, giant stars, exploded again and created new elements. Until five billion years ago, these gases came together through gravity, became our sun. Four and a half billion years afterwards, our Earth came to be. And four billion years ago, one-celled animals already started on this planet. By 65 million years in the past, there were huge animals, and the world was ruled by dinosaurs. Triceratops looks like rhinoceroses. Pterodactyls flew like bats. There were snakes one meter in diameter. Titanoboas. But the king was Tyrannosaurus rex. So they ruled the earth. Suddenly, 65 million years ago, there was a huge asteroid fell to Earth, more than two kilometers in diameter. Yucatan Peninsula, between Florida and Mexico, slumped into the Earth, huge firewall, setting fire to great forests, killing off many of the dinosaurs and other living things. Then. There was dust in the air, like Pinatubo only. The whole planet was covered. And for several months, the sun did not shine on the earth. So the remaining dinosaurs died of starvation because they had nothing to eat. Only very small mammals were left. They also evolved. Here we are. Now, scientists are saying there are other asteroids that might hit the Earth, putting an end to life again, including us. Nuclear war will also put an end to the Earth. There's a great danger now because Iran will send drones to help Russia and Russia is always threatening nuclear war and then the scientists are telling us if we continue like this the earth will heat up North Pole and South Pole will melt there will be strong typhoons and Climate change will be irreversible. In 100 years, Manila will be underwater. Woe to you, planet Earth. For if the mighty done, deeds done in your midst had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would long ago have repented in sackcloth and ashes. We are being threatened with extinction like Sodom and Gomorrah. We are not repenting. Saan-saan pa rin tayo nagtatapon ng basura natin? 
may microplastics na yung kinakain ng mga bata na yung mga, mga isda na binibili natin sa Nipa Qmart. So there is great danger. Kaya tawag, this is my point today, kaya nagsimula tayo doon sa Big Bang hanggang sa mga dinosaurs. My point is, we are in danger again of being extinct according to the encyclical of the Pope Laudato Si. We have to repent. And what is needed now is conversion from our sins. Turn away from our sins. Personal conversion. But according to Laudato Si, that's what I would like to underscore today, we need ecological conversion. We need to turn away from our indifference and our greed destroying, ravaging Mother Earth. We have also to help the poor. And that's why Laudato Si calls on everyone. Ang, ang subtitle niya, On Care for Our Common Home. Our Common Home is under threat. Coming generations will have a very hard time if we will not engage in ecological conver conversion. Karamihan ng mga humili, personal conversion. Yung mga kasalanan mong personal, pagsisihan mo yan. Maganda din yan. Kailangan-kailangan yan. But we need also ecological conversion. Otherwise, we will become like the dinosaur. Hindi naman sudden na kagaya noong Asteroid sa Yucatan Peninsula. Pero unti-unti yan, masisira ang planeta, our common home, home to 8 billion human beings, and most of them do not care. Sinasabihan na tayo. Tanim kayo ng puno, ayusin ninyo yung produce ng food, huwag ninyong sirain yung soil. So spirituality din yan. Minsan, ang spirituality natin, masyadong privatized eh, that it's only between me and God. Only my per I care only about my personal sins. We have also social sins, sabi ng Catholic social teaching. At yan ang binibigyang diin ko ngayon. Otherwise, we will be like Sodom and Gomorrah. Otherwise, we will be extinct like the dinosaurs. Siguro hindi tayo, lalo na ako. Malapit na akong mamamaalam dito sa mundo. Pero yung mga bata, yung mga apo ng inyong mga apo, baka magahirapan na yan. At yun, kagaya ng sinabi sa first reading, sabi ni Isaiah, the heart of the king and the heart of the people tremble as the trees of the forest tremble in the wind. Kasi, may a-attack na sa kanila. Yung king na galing sa ibang bansa. And, sinabihan sila, unless your faith is firm, you shall not be firm. So let us ask for faith today. Our prayer, Lord, we believe, help our unbelief. Make us repent of our personal sins, Make us repent of our social sins. Next year, 50 years na akong pare, naalala ko pa, tatlong tao lang ang nagkumpisal sa akin na the sin because they hurt the environment. Cut the trees, mining. Wala sa kamalayan ng mga tao. Lagi nang sinasabi ng mga scientists. Sinasabi pa ng Santo Papa. Wala pa rin. Woe to you, Corazine. Woe to you, Bitsaida. Woe to you, planet Earth. So let us pray today that we can widen the circle of our compassion to embrace Mother Earth. Mother Earth. Saan ang galing yung hinihinga mong hangin? Saan ang galing yung tubig na iniinom mo? Saan ang galing yung pagkain mo para mabuhay ka? Galing sa daigdig. 
sinasalaulaan natin. Wala tayong mga utang na loob. Hindi man lang sumasagi sa ating budhi na kasalanan yan. So I'm here to warn you. I'm only echoing what the scientists and what Pope Francis is saying. Let us pray during this Mass for ecological conversion because we already know we are already very good in personal conversion kahit na paulit-ulit tayong nagkakasala at least binabagabag tayo ng ating budhi yung ecological sins bala sa kamalayan natin at nasisira ang mundo dahil sa ating pagwawalang bahala dahil sa pagkagahaman din ng iila as we offer the bread and the wine I would like to, to remind again, may kanta kasi ng offertory song eh. Pero ang sinasabi ng pare, Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness, we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness, we have this wine to offer. Fruit of divine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual tree. Lawakan natin ngayon ang ating pag-iisip para masaklaw natin ang ating tungkulin dito sa magandang daigdig pinagkatiwala sa atin ng Panginoon na babilis nating sinisira na kung maghihiganti laban sa atin mapupuksa lahat ng tao dito sa mundo. Woe to you, Kurazin. Woe to you, Bitsaida. Woe to you, planet Earth. Woe to you, 8 billion human beings if you will not take care of the Earth, your mother. Created by God. Pinahiram sa atin para ibigay naman natin doon sa mga susunod pang saling lahi. Bal- nagbabaliwala tayo. Binabaliwala natin lahat yung utos ng Diyos. Pero lagi tayong nagsasabi, I believe in God, creator of heaven and earth. Creator pala siya, di kanya yan, ba't sinisira mo? Which earth has given and human hands have made will become for us the bread of life. 